when I was in junior high, this guy walked in and he had his Marine Corps dress blues. I saw it, I said, damn. And from that moment on, I wanted to be a Marine. After the war, I had nightmares for 13 years. Too many people died. So we don't talk about that. I'm here because I'm a dumbass. I uh, got caught transporting drugs. Last time was five years in the federal pen and uh, I got deported. He uh, raised me the first five years of my life. So I was real attached to my dad and my mom was hardly ever there that, that I remember. I thought he was just gonna be there for a couple of years maybe 10 the most, and then all of a sudden he said, no baby, it's deportation for life. I was there when she was born. The, 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 day, the moment she came out of her mama's womb, I was there. And I remember that little girl, when they showed her to me, she stuck her tongue out at me. I said, son, bitch, that's my daughter. She was three months shy of her 10th birthday when I got locked up. So what, what's on the agenda for today? Well, we always go do go eat breakfast. My children already have their family. If they can't come and see me, I don't mind. Because their family is their responsibility. Not dad. I'm in Mexico. They can come and see me whenever they have time. <laughs> Hi, <Lai. laughs> Hi, baby. I was not illegal in the United States of America. I was legal. From the moment I stepped into the United States in 1956, I was legal in the United States. I got sentenced to five years in prison, in the federal prison, first punishment. I got deported, second punishment. They took away my VA rights, third punishment. They took my social security. I love the United States of America. I don't give a shit if I'm here in Mexico. I love the United States of America. But I'm a Marine, goddammit. When I signed under that dotted line back in 1966, for me, that's for life. If the United States of America needed me now, I'd be there in a second. <laughs>